Welcome and thank you for tuning in to another episode of uh, 10 Minute Chef. My name is Tyler, as always, and uh, today we're going over how to clean and cook a bowfin. Bowfin are uh, very aggressive fish. Um, they're a heck of a fight. They're, they're so much fun to catch. And uh, <clears throat> turns out, great to eat, right? even better than I would have ever imagined. When I'm fishing, I keep hooking up with these bowfin, and uh, I just keep putting them back. Like, you know, they're kind of, they're scary looking, they got sharp teeth, you know, I just get my pliers in there and, and I uh, let them go, and I just keep, they keep grabbing my worm, or they keep grabbing uh, the little piece of shrimp that I got put out. I mean, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna, I gotta try, I gotta try one of these because they are a decent size when you catch them. And there was a ton of meat on this guy, as I suspected. Laid him up, and uh, it was so good that I had to turn him into a sandwich. This is Bowfin on Brioche. Thank you so much if you're watching this. Um, I, I really, really do appreciate it. So please share this. Uh, subscribe to my channel, 10 Minute Chef on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If you got any ideas, requests, um, whatever you want to see, you got questions about, I, I will answer it, and I will do videos on what is being requested. So don't be afraid to uh, let me know what you want to see next. Enjoy. First things first, sharpen up your fillet knives best I, you can. I can't believe that. How are you still... A lie, my friend. Just like any other fish, we want to start by, uh, if you're not gutting him and storing him, to get a nice fillet, you want to just trace your knife from the top of his head all the way down his spine as evenly as you can. You don't miss any sections. This bowfin had incredibly Thick tough meat. skin. I wasn't expecting that. Thick meat on this guy. Just like any other fish. <laughs> you want to cut? Dude. What's up? You want to cut? Though? This guy's. And then you just keep tracing your knife down the here. back of his spine. Didn't mean to do that. I'm separating to no slowly bones. the meat. He's got a from weird spine. His spine carcass. Kind of, he's got it on both sides. This way you don't get any bones in your fillet. <coughs> slowly slice them off the bone. You gotta get in there with your knife. Once you get the meat off, go ahead and clean it. That's one whole fillet. I got two of those. Front and back, not necessary. Just go ahead and wash off both fillets, and then we gotta skin them. Just like any other fish. Make a little incision, then you want to get a nice grip near where the tail was, the skin of the tail, and slide your knife along the skin as best you can. Oops. The skin is not going to rip necessarily, so. Then you have one clean fillet. Do that to both sides. Now we get them back inside. And we're going to make some breadcrumb. Right? Toast up some bread that you made or that bought and make yourself an egg wash. Cream, couple eggs. Cut the large fillet into smaller pieces. And then 
it's your standard dry, wet, dry. Dry in flour or cornmeal. <clears throat> into the wet which is your egg wash mixture and then that piece into the other dry so it sticks very nicely smash it down make sure it's fully coated and do that to the remainder of the chunks that you cut off from your fillet <clears throat> Dry, wet, dry. Over and over. Till you got till you run out of meat or till you run out of ingredients to bread them with. Straight into the fryer. 30 seconds each side. And that'll do. That doesn't make your stomach growl, you're non-human. That one fish made all of this right here. Look at these nice pieces. Big, big old fillets. And I gotta say, a little bit of lemon over the top. We're going to give it a try. I don't care what anybody says. This is not a trash fish. It's not. This, this, literally, if you like, if you like catfish, you will love this. I, all I did was soak it in some pickle juice like I would do for normal catfish. But if you like catfish, this is this is uh, catfish on steroids. The meat is so much more. The meat's so much better. So good I had to make a sandwich out of it. A little bit of veganaise, my favorite. Some green leaf lettuce. Our beautifully fried bowfin. Some white onions. Kosher dill pickle. Cranberry cheddar. Brioche bun. So yeah, there you have it. Bowfin on brioche. Watching that made me hungry. Again, good thing I got a ton left over. It's exciting when you catch your own fish and you eat it. There's nothing like it. That's as close as you can get to uh, uh, nature and, you know, sustainability. Um, please share this video, subscribe, and uh, hit the notifications button so you know when the next one's dropping. Uh, I got some good stuff coming up. Uh, thank you, everyone, who's rocking with me, watching these videos. They're a lot of fun. All right. Until next time.